Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for is here. For you this is entertainment, but for me it was pain. The third part of playing FNAF Special Delivery for a week is finally here. So, if you are new and don't understand what this video is about, I mean, by reading the title you can already understand it, but I recommend watching the first two parts of the series. But if you just wanna watch this video, here is a quick summary of how it works. Basically in a second account I'll try to get as many CPUs and suits as possible. But here is the catch I only have 5 days Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and my goal is to get everything in the game within 5 days. And I'll be doing that by sending from my main account which I already own everything there to my second account. Hope you understood, because I won't be repeating it again. So before we go into the challenge, consider subscribing as it helps me and motivates me to keep doing the stupid challenges, and also, if you wanna friend me in both of my accounts. Here is my friend code for my main account, and here is the one from my second account, as well as a shout out to the few people who added me, I mean, not that many people added me. It's not that big of a list, trust me, see how small it is. And also follow my Instagram because why not? So without any filler to add, let's see how this challenge goes, by starting with the first day, Monday. Well, I won't be touching grass for the next 5 days, so let's get this over with, if you don't remember, last episode I left it off with Serpent Mangle, and again. If you haven't watched the last episode, here is a summary of how I will be choosing the animatronics to fight. Basically here is a list of everything I'm missing and I'll generate a number from 1 to 30 in a random number generator, and depending on the number that I get, I will be fighting that skin or animatronic. And as you can see, I have some animatronics that I crossed out, those being Curse and Woodland Toy Freddy, that's because I already got them last episode. Little editor's note, as you can see, Plush Trap and Great Escape Golden Freddy are crossed out, even though I don't have them. I crossed them out because you can only get Great Escape by defeating the DLC, which I won't be buying this episode since my financial situation is not the best right now. And Plush Trap I can only get if I fight him with his CPU, which to be honest I don't really want to defeat him this episode, so I'll get him next episode, as well as my two missing CPUs. Also I forgot to add Toy Chica, but don't worry, I'll later add her to the list. So, I continued with Serpent Mangle with Chica CPU, I don't know why I didn't fight her with her CPU, but I guess I was just in a rush. The fight was relatively easy, and I didn't have any type of problem with it, just locate her and shock her, that's about it. I decided to go after a new animatronic, so I generated a new number and let's see what I get. 29? That's Jetpack BB, I fought him with Freddy CPU because I can't be bothered to fight him with the little bitch CPU, he wasn't that difficult at all, but I do remember that in the first part, I was after him, and it literally took me hours and I still didn't get anything, so let's hope this time it's different. After at least 25 minutes of continuous fights, I finally got the first item of the day, which was Serpent Mangle. It's nice to know that you only need one more skin of any animatronic, and in this case, it's Magician Mangle, but I'm sure that I'll get her sooner than later, since I already got one of the two I was after. Let's generate a new number, and it is, 28, so that's Aeronaut Toy Freddy, so I'm currently going after two skins from the same event, nice. The fight wasn't that difficult, I fought him with Toy Freddy CPU, it wasn't much of a fight, aside from the fact that I used almost half of my battery to defeat him, but other than that, it was a nice and relaxing fight. Two hours in and I was already regretting my decision about this challenge, but I wasn't going to give up, so I wanted to make the process even faster and send a third animatronic, this time it is, 11? So that is Toxic Spring Trap, so I fought him with Chicka CPU, because I don't have the balls to defeat Spring Trap, I mean, I do have them. But not right now, since it was a chicka. It was an extremely easy fight, and a relatively short one was well. But quick note, this wasn't the first fight. The first fight I stupidly died since I wasn't paying attention. But let's not talk about that, okay? 15 minutes later, I finally got something, 
Level 18? Yep, you thought it was an animatronic didn't you? I don't have such luck to get a suit so don't get any ideas that I... Well look who showed up. This little fucker took me hours to get. I'm most certainly not looking forward to getting the balloon boy suit. Approximately 20 minutes later, I was minding my own business when I got a little something. Aeronaut Toy Freddy. Oh my gosh, this took me hours to get. It's literally not even funny how much it took me to get the suit, but fortunately for me, I had to call it a day since I had some stuff that I needed to clear and it was way more important than playing some stupid augmented reality game that doesn't even update anymore. I mean, who even plays this game in 2000? Oh boy, here we go, more hours spent on this game, I started the day by generating another number, so it is 5, that means I have to fight Toy Freddy, another Toy Freddy, I can't wait to fight him. So I did, and it wasn't anything intense, just some using the mask and the shocker, so now I'm after two animatronics, Toxic Spring Boy and Toy Freddy. And 17 <coughs> minutes later I got the first item of the day, Toy Freddy. Feels good to have your favorite animatronic in the game. Wait a second. This means that I already own every Toy Freddy skin. Nice. But I still have 22 animatronics to go after. Great. So I decided to roll another number. And I got number 18. That's Boulder Toy Bunny. So I fought him with Freddy CPU, because I don't want to fight him with a difficult CPU, not because I'm scared. Not at all, but because I don't feel like it, easy fight. Literally two fights later and I got Boulder Toy Bunny, this is just incredible. If I can continue with this luck, then I can certainly get a lot more stuff today. So meanwhile I fight this idiot, let's roll another number, and it is, 27 Clockwork Ballera. If I get her I will get every animatronic from the Scream Punk event. I'm tired of constantly fighting animatronics without their CPU, so let's do it. Ballera CPU, the fight was a breeze, nothing to worry about. I even flashed her to show how proud I am. Approximately 18 minutes later, Clockwork Ballera, the trio is now complete, Aeronaut Toy Freddy, Jetpack Balloon Boy, and Clockwork Ballera. It's been at least 3 hours since I started playing and Toxic Spring Trap has been a little bit shy, and hasn't even dropped a mod, and I noticed I was an idiot and forgot to put Toy Chica. So I'll just replace Great Escape with Toy Chica, there we go. So let's generate a number to see who I'll be fight next. 30? Hey what a coincidence. I just changed the animatronic and I already need to fight her. So I fought her with Freddy CPU, and not with her own CPU. Just because I'm an absolute unit and I'm built different, so anyways, not much of a fight, easily clapped her. Also I completed my daily challenges, well it was trash. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, because two and a half hours later and I still hadn't got a single thing from these two, but that soon changed, because I finally, after so many hours, is mine. Toxic Spring Trap Suit was finally mine. It took me way too long for a lean skin, but at the end of the day, I got him, and that's all that counts. Starting the day by fighting a new foe, so let's see which one is it. Number 19, that's Black Ice Frost Bear. Original Frost Bear still better, but let me get this straight. Unless it's an easy animatronic to defeat and doesn't require me to actually try to play the game, most fights will include a bunny, chica, freddy, toy freddy or foxy cpu. And here's one of those cases, the fight wasn't a big deal, so I defeated him easily. I also continued with toy chica, and here's my attempt on Wednesday, nothing special or new, but I just wanted to show you, because why not. God knows how many minutes later and I hadn't got a single thing. So let's make the process even faster by generating a new number, which is number 23, and it's Melted Chocolate Bunny. And for the first time in centuries, I fought an animatronic with its CPU. It's the first time I fought Melted Chocolate Bunny since it originally released. It's nice to see that they at least fixed his charge glitch. If you know, you know. But outside of that, nothing's a special. 
20 minutes later, the first out of the three pans are over. Black Ice Frost Bear is finally mine. The amount of time this took me to get is unbelievable, but let's not focus on that and let's continue with our grind. Approximately 25 minutes later, I finally got something else, that being Toy Chica's suit, so that means that I only need one more Toy Chica skin to complete her, but let's focus on that later. But before we continue, you guessed it, let's generate another number. Please kill me I'm extremely tired, I mean number 26, Piranha Plush Trap. There's no way in hell that I'm going to fight a plush trap CPU, so I'll fight him with Chica CPU. Fight wasn't anything out of the ordinary, just a small dude being crushed, that's about it. Mm. And after what felt like an eternity, I got to level 19, which gave me buffs, and, well that's about it. And with that, we'll call it a day, mainly because this oh. fucker wouldn't drop anything. One more day. One more day and this will finally be over. I kept fighting both Melted Chocolate Bonnie and Piranha Plush Trap. At this point my legs were killing me from all the hours I was standing up, but that won't interfere with the grind. I also rolled a new number, so I won't be spending all the day in these two, and the new number is, 7, Easter Bonnie. Since the Bonnie CPU was being used, I fought him with Freddy CPU. The fight was an extremely easy fight, not a problem whatsoever, also I got done with my daily challenges, I missed the previous ones so, here is the one from this day. After some time, I got the first item of the day, Melted Chocolate Bonnie. Woo! Yeah baby, that's what I've been waiting for. In my opinion this is a pretty good skin, I don't understand the hate that it gets. I get it, reused animations and concept, but still. 17 minutes later, the second suit dropped, that being Easter Bunny. I mean, what can I say, it's Bunny, but why? Wait a minute, if I'm correct, it means that I now have all Bunny skins. Well at least I won't be seeing him anymore, but we still have some animatronics to go after. So you know what's next? Well, it's generate a new number time. Wow, who could have guessed it? I'm so excited to fight a new animatronic. So the number is, 15, oh my god, it's clown spring trap, please help me I'm losing my mind. So you guessed it, Freddy Fuzzbear time, what were you expecting me to fight, spring trap? So about the fight, it was easy all things considered, but I nearly died because I wasn't paying attention, so, good job me. One hour and twelve minutes later, I wanted to die, but thankfully I got piranha plush trap, I mean come on. Doesn't this look like a dog instead of a piranha? It might be me going insane, who knows. 23 minutes later and I got the thick spring trap. Oh boy I can't wait to get the next spring trap skin and spend 3 hours on it. Wait, I forgot, I just completed my spring trap collection. But I'm still missing the CPU, so I will be seeing him later. Holy shit, the day is here, 24 more hours, and I can finally go outside and touch grass. So let's just roll another number, and this time it is, number 13, which is Scorching Chica. And for the first time in a long time, I'll be fighting an animatronic with their CPU. The fight wasn't difficult, I mean, it's a Chica fight, do you seriously expect me to lose to a Chica skin? No way in hell that is happening. And let's roll another number, just so we can get this over with. By the way, I forgot to put 30 as the maximum number. So uh, yeah, but don't worry, I'll fix it in two more spins. And the number is, 3. So that's Balloon Boy, well time to fight him with his CPU. The fight wasn't any different than the previous ones, just locate animatronics and that's it. Nothing out of the ordinary at all. Oh hey, by the way, daily challenge is done, and... And I shouldn't have bothered to do them, like, what the hell is this? 30 minutes later and I got the first item of the day, which is this little idiot suit. It didn't take that long considering the skins took me forever, especially these two, but hey. At least I got all balloon boy skins, and I won't be seeing him again, thank god. 
I also bought the 750 coin Zendo slot. Now I have 5 new slots. Nice. Again, I forgot to change the maximum number. But next time it will be fixed, I promise. And the number is, 10, so that's radioactive Foxy, and I'll be fighting him with Foxy CPU. Again a pretty good fight, though I almost died because I was checking my phone, but it didn't happen and it's what matters, right? I rolled a new number, this time it was, 4, so that's baby, I think I'll fight her with Freddy CPU, because why not, can you guess how the fight went, if you said good, well, you're right. It wasn't much of a fight, just locate her and shock her. After some minutes, Radioactive Foxy was mine. I only need two more Foxy skins. Well, only one and the original. But it won't be long before I get him. Five fights later and I got something else. Scorching Chica, the best Chica skin. And that says a lot because Scorching Chica isn't a good looking skin. The day is about to end. And I don't think I have enough time to get another suit. So I'll roll the last number. And this time it is. Two. So that's Foxy. I'll fight him with Foxy CPU. Unfortunately, I had to call it a day. Next episode I'll continue with both Foxy and Baby. Although this challenge wasn't as successful as the last part, I still enjoyed it. And with that, the final day of this challenge is over. Finally, I'm free. After so many hours, the pain is now gone. And I don't think I can feel my legs anymore. But who cares, I got the challenge done, so let's see everything I have so far. Although I didn't get much, I still had fun playing the challenge, and I can't wait for the next part. Who am I kidding? I'm not doing a fourth part, that is unless we reach a goal of 100k likes. That's a joke I will be making another part, so this is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching it, I will be uploading more videos, so keep an eye out for them. See y'all later gamers, peace.